Hello, Alexander Armstrong here. Welcome to the most detailed digital reproduction of Venice ever created. You're in the hall of the Great Council, in the heart of the official residence of the leaders of the Venetian Republic, the Doge's Palace. Have a look around. If you want to explore in more detail, just hit the pause button. The magnificent paintings on the walls and ceiling depict some of Venice's greatest victories and legends. This hall was the most important assembly of the Republic. Its members elected the Doge. As you rise above the palace, you should be able to see the 16th century red brick bell tower, the Campanile, on the corner of St. Mark's Square. The Doge's Palace was more than just a home for Venice's leaders. It was like Buckingham Palace, the Houses of Parliament, Whitehall and the Tower of London all rolled into one. On the way back into the building, you can see the internal structure of the palace. This reveals how closely the secret and public spaces in the palace were intertwined. The lavish state rooms are surrounded by hidden passageways for the secret police and squalid prison cells. We're now heading into the Chamber of the Three. These were Venice's feared guardians of justice. Above your head is an octagonal painting called Victory of Virtue Over Vice. But that's not all. As you burst through the painting into the room above, you enter the torture chamber of the three inquisitors. The victims of interrogation would be suspended from that rope, hauled up to the ceiling, and then dropped to just above the floor. Our 3D model reveals how Venice was ruled by a dramatic combination of democracy, spectacle and terror. And it was all happening cheek by jowl here in the Doge's Palace. <laughs>